What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I'm gonna give you a video on how to install and what it looks like to use the Poco phone um, launcher on any phone that you have really. And this is gonna be on the Galaxy Note 9. If you don't know what the Poco phone is, uh, it is a really inexpensive phone. It's $300, you get a Snapdragon 845, six or eight gigabytes of RAM. The display is 6.18 inches, 1080p plus display. Uh, you also get anywhere between 64 all the way up to 256 gigabytes of storage, 4,000 milliamp battery, uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack, fast charging. It's really a beast of a phone and it's really, really well priced. I'll also have written instructions down below in the link and when you go to the link, it's gonna bring you to my website and then it'll bring you to this website on where to download the APK. Uh, Cause currently the uh, registration to get the Poco launcher on your phone in the Play Store is closed up. So you might be able to download this from Play Store one day, but this will walk you through downloading it. It's directly from APK Mirror. So once you get to this specific website, uh, you're gonna see when you scroll down, download APK, so tap that. And it's gonna say download, and then I'm gonna hit, this is already, I already downloaded it once, but I'll just download it again. You probably won't get that second prompt. So it is downloaded, so I'm gonna swipe down just so it's the same as you guys, and tap right there where the downloaded file is. You might have something saying that, um, do you want to allow unknown installations? Just hit yes to that, and you'll be able to install it. And then hit install, and then just hit done. And then once you hit your home button, you're gonna have the option to choose either, depending upon which you know, launcher you have or what phone you have. For me, I have the Samsung Experience launcher and I also have the Pogo, Poco one. So I'm gonna click on Poco and then I'm gonna hit always. And it's gonna go through the setup for this launcher. It's saying I've read the terms and conditions, so that automatically is checked, so just hit start. Now it's asking me which uh, home screen wallpaper I want to use. I want to use theirs or my current one. I'll just choose theirs for now. And then it's going to say allow access to notifications. So hit allow. And then you're going to see Poco Launcher. So turn that on. Hit allow. Hit the back button. Hit allow again. It's going to ask for access to your photos, media, and files on your device. Hit allow. And there you go. This is the launcher for uh, Poco Phone. And it's very, very simple. So you have on the home screens, you have this button, for instance, right here, that'll clear out uh, and any cache they have in there, if you have any cache, to help your phone try to run better. This settings button is just gonna bring you to your general settings button. And then you have these default apps on here, like Google Photos, Play Store, phone, text, uh, your, your browser, your, I guess that's Google Music, and your camera. When you press and hold on an empty spot on the home screen, it's kind of finicky, I've noticed. Um, you have wallpaper, widgets, and settings. Um, so we'll just click on wallpaper. Well, there's also a dedicated button there, right there for wallpaper. So it asks you to choose a wallpaper. I don't really care so much about that. Widgets, you can see what they, their screen looks like for widgets. So there you go, you can pull on widgets. And if you don't know what widgets are, they're just like apps that run on your screen without you having to open anything. And then you also have settings. And on settings, you can change like transition effects. So if you do this, you can uh, change it from slide, to crossfade, to tumble, to page. So we'll do, why don't we do crossfade? We'll go back here and press that to get to the settings again. Like I said, it's a little bit finicky for me. I don't know why it is when I go in there. Uh, next you have set default screen. I only have one screen on here, so it's not gonna show any just yet. Fill the empty cells, you can turn that on or off. Lock the home screen layout, hide app icons, more. And I'm gonna hit the home button just cause I'll show you how to get to this. But before we do all that stuff, um, you know, like I said, there's no specific home screen right here you know, that you go to that shows news or anything like that that you get with the Google. And so when you swipe up, that's gonna show all your apps and they're in A to Z order and they go up and down, vertical. You can search for apps in here. So if you wanted to search for anything that said Google in it or GOO, it's gonna show you that. So it's very fast and fluid. I like that part. It's very simple. Um, it also shows you uh, that you, currently it breaks everything into categories. So you'll see I have all communication. It puts all the communication apps, all the entertainment apps, all the photography apps that I have, tools, news and reading, shopping apps, games, lifestyle, 
finance and business, personalization knowledge and education. And also you'll see the little gear on the top, right? That's gonna bring you to the Pico settings for the launcher where you can change some things. So right off the bat, um, you can, uh, it's this icon pack set to system. If I tap on that, I can change my icon pack. I have another icon pack right here, uh, Polycon, so it's really easy. Just tap on that, hit apply, and it's gonna automatically change my icons. Let's go back into settings. App suggestions, so this is going to turn off so that you don't, let me go back to this. So when you go to all, you usually have a row of apps here that it's telling you to use or things you might wanna use, This that just turns that off. I don't need that anyway. Group apps automatically, you can customize groups into the drawer. So that's this, where you see communication, entertainment, you can turn that off. You can turn that off, you'll notice when I go back, that is completely turned off and it's just the normal. And I don't like the way they customize that to where um, they had group it up, so I would definitely leave that off if I ended up using this launcher. You can group icons by color, it says group icons by color to find the apps faster. Your scroll bar, you can change it from original layout to A to Z. So if you change it to A to Z, you'll see you have a row of A to Z on there if you want it. I would keep, I'd probably keep it just as, oops, I would keep it as original layout. Um, on the home screen settings, you can fill in empty cells so that there isn't any, uh, so that if you have a bunch of apps on there and there's some empty cells, we just you know put them together. You can lock the home screen layout. This is great. Um, I feel like, like my, my parents law always push their apps off the home screen. My father does the same thing with his Android. It's a very common thing, I think, with people that aren't, I wouldn't even say technical savvy. They just, I don't know, they have issues with, with technology. So you'll see when I try to move something, it says home screen layout is locked. So I can't move anything on the home screen. I think that's great to have that. I know other launchers have that. Uh, and this one has it as well. Add, uh, inst add installed apps to the home screen automatically. So if you download a new app to... Uh, from Google Play Store, it'll automatically add it here to the home screen for you. Again, I like that too. And that is pretty much it for this in terms of um, what you can do for settings. It's like I said, a very simple browser. If you want to drag an app on here, you just drag it. If you want to, I'll drag another one too. If you want to create a folder with these, just, just like you would any other one, just drag it on top of each other. You can tap up here and rename. Uh, this to whatever you want. Maybe just call it tech. I'm just making something up. Oops, I didn't take tech. And now that uh, folder is called tech. So it's really simple. Like I said, really, really simple. Um, it gives you a, a feeling if you do get uh, the Poco phone, what you're gonna run into with the launcher itself. And if you wanna download it, you saw the instructions and how I did it, and I'll also link it down below. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know your thoughts about this launcher also as well. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.